Hello, this is Clint Halstead, and this is Introduction to Microprocessors. Um, I'm using a book called Designing Better Systems with PIC Microcontrollers, Principles and Applications, 2nd Edition with Tim Wilmshurst. We're currently on Chapter 5.2.2. So, five, Chapter 5, Section 2.2. Um, we're going to introduce the six arithmetic, arithmetic instructions. So, um, when we're doing branching, it's important, a lot of the, it's important to be able to um, compare numbers, whether a number is greater than or less than other numbers, and the way we do that is by subtracting. So if a number, if you subtract one number from another one, and if it's, if the result's negative, then, um, then you can have a, uh, you know, greater than, and if it's positive, you have less than, uh, or vice versa, whichever direction you want to go. So, so you can see that it's important when doing branching, since we're talking about branching, that we have some arithmet arithmetic instructions. And we've already talked about add WF and add literal, literal to W. Now we're going to add uh, the following four instructions to our suite of, of instructions, and that is subtract WF, subtract literal W, increment F, and decrement F. Now, Increment F and decrement F are just simply incrementing a file register or decrementing it by, by one, uh, by one uh, position. So if you have 54, if you increment it, you're going to increment it. If, the, if you execute this instruction, it will increment from 54 to 55. So that's, that's how those work. And decrement would go from 55 to 54. So those are pretty easy to understand. The subtract uh, commands uh, the way they work is you subtract W from F, or you subtract the literal value from, from W. So remember, the, the literal value is just a value, a number that you put uh, in your code. And, it'll, and that'll subtract that value in your code from the, the value of the W register. Now, in order to use these for branching, it, it gets a little bit confusing. Uh, even for me, it was hard for me to understand this when I first uh, started looking at it, but um, the status register bits are affected by the uh, these add and subtract commands, and um, and the increment the zero bit is is affected by the increment commands. So and the decrement command. So that's how we that's so we use these increment decrement. We may want to decrement a counter. And then uh, branch, if it gets to zero, that we could use that for a delay type statement. So we could load a, a W register with uh, you know a certain value, and then we could decrement that value in that counter. Uh, and then when it gets to zero, then we could exit that subroutine. So that, that's one way to, to use the increment or decrement. So a lot of times they're used in, in delay type statements and many other things. To use a subtract command, though, it gets a little, gets a little confusing. Um, the carry bit um, acts, normally the carry bit is used with the add command and it, it's used to carry a bit over to see if you have a carry, to see if you have an overflow. But when you're doing a subtract command, actually the carry bit location in the status register um, actually changes from a, a carry bit to a, um, a borrow bit. So if you look at the status register, there's a bit in here. So this is the status register, and you have this carry bit, but it's also called a borrow bit with a, a bar across it. So when you use using subtract commands, it actually becomes a borrow bit, <clears throat> okay? So, um, yeah, so what that means is if a subtract occurs and the result is positive. Okay, so if the result is positive, then the carry bit's a one. That just means that it's really you're thinking about the borrow bit. That means that there's no borrow. If, however, the result is negative, um, that means you have to borrow from something to get that negative. So that's why the borrow bit, uh, the carry, the carry bit, or you could say the borrow bit, however you want to think of it, is zero. So that means you had to borrow. So if that's confusing for you, you may just want to write it down, but this is going to, uh, you pretty much just have to memorize this. So don't, um, try to think about it and see if you can understand it. And if you don't understand it, then uh, just write it down somewhere on a piece of paper where you can always get to it. Because when you, 
when you're doing some coding, you're going to sometimes need to know if the result is negative or, or positive. Um, and I guess you could just always just run a test and see in your simulator, but um, this is very important, um, very important point to to remember. So, so this part right here, really just highlight that um, in your book, which, by the way, is on page 113 at the very top. Okay. So. So, so far, we have, um, we've added a lot of instructions. I just wanted to go over really quick all the instructions that we've talked about. We talked about add WF, clear, w, uh, clear F, clear W, decrement F, increment F, uh, move F. Notice that over here this tells you what status register bits are affected. Now these status register bits um, are what you use to do those conditional branching. So that's what you use the bit test F. We got, we got move F, move F, move WF, subtract WF. Now we know bit clear F, bit set F, uh, add literal to W, go to, move literal to W, and subtract the literal W. So subtract literal from W. So there we go. Looks like about uh, almost half, not quite half. So we haven't got quite half yet, but uh, we're making some good progress. Maybe, maybe at least a third that we, we went through so far. So that's it for this lesson. Um, <clears throat> I would suggest that uh, in the textbook, if you have the textbook, to go through programming, programming exercise 5.2 on page 113. Thanks, and I'll see you for the next lesson.